Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're communicating from. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new around here, welcome to my channel. Please consider hitting the subscribe button and being part of the family. Um, I post a lot of financial related or business literacy uh, stuff on my YouTube channel. I make videos about that. If you're too bored for that, I have a lot of vlogs that I do for entertainment purposes. So in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is in response to a lot of messages that have been coming to my inbox on how to uh, implement the indicators, or rather attach the indicators to your trading chart on a computer. As you know, I usually like to use a smartphone, but today I'm going to be showing you how you attach the indicators using the computer. So the first indicator that you use, and by the way, this is for the VIX 75 strategy that a lot of people have appreciated for. If you haven't watched that video, please go check it out. So the first thing you need is your relative strength index. So what you just basically do is get the relative strength index. You will uh, basically change the levels. You go to levels and then you, you will put the first level as, um, as 90. So you put the first level as 90 and then the second level is uh, is going to be 80, okay? Then you say, okay. So there, as you guys can see, the relative strength index has appeared below. So now here is where the problem is. Most people, now you have to first look for the moving average so you can attach the moving average to your RSI below. So what most people are doing are basically going to attach chart because once you attach your moving average to the chart, um, it's going to appear in this, uh, you know, kind of format. So as you can see that red line, that's where it appears, but it's not supposed to be like that. So we're going to delete that real quick. When you delete that, what you basically do is drag the moving average. You drag the moving average to your RSI. The period is 10 for the moving average and then it needs to be like that okay it needs to be like that so after this uh you you go you go and get your other uh rsi another rsi in order for you to attach the other indicator the ichimoku kinko Hayo. so another rsi so with this rsi we're going to switch up the levels as the first level is going to be um Eighty. The first level is going to be eighty, and then the second level is has to be below fifteen. Fifteen should be the max. So I'm going to go for thirteen. So I go for thirteen and press OK. So as you can see down below there, we have the overbought and oversold levels that I have uh, implemented, eighty and thirteen on the RSI. And then you go get your Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. Remember, you drag it. You drag your Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. So with the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. Of course, it's been set to my default settings, but I'm just going to explain a little here. So, for example, on, on the perimeters, it's supposed to be 999. That's for the Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. And then for the colors, just make sure that the first two colors can be different. Maybe blue, green. Uh, I personally went for uh, red and blue. And then the rest are black, black, black. The reason they are black, black, black is because I'm using a black trading chart. If there were if, if the, my chart was white it would have been white 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 so there you go you basically attach your Ichimoku Kinko Hayo right there so in case you guys don't know how this amazing strategy works the VIX 75 strategy in case you don't know how it works please go and watch the video uh, in the corner there go watch that video and it's going to guide you on how this works it's been fun showing you guys how to implement these strategies so please hit the subscribe button. I have more videos, more tutorials coming through. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.